All right, so upper body basics, right? Three movements, pushing, three movements, pulling, right? Uh, creative way to use the rings. The first one, you're gonna need a little bit lower set of rings, right? Uh, then the second move, right? You're gonna need a little bit higher set of rings. So if you have two, set them up. That way you can jump between both a little bit quicker, if not just raise and lower them quickly, right? Uh, the first movement is the Bulgarian push-up or wide grip push-up. So I'm gonna turn my rings out. Then turn them in, elbows flare out, right? If I want to make this stronger, I just raise my feet or lower the rings, right? Now, I need to make this easy enough, right, to where I can keep moving, right? So be ambitious, but keep quality form. The second movement is this tricep extension, right? So I'm going to keep my elbows in, core tight. Again, if I lower the rings or raise the feet, much stronger, right? The last movement, which I think is the toughest, is the pelican curl. I'm gonna really walk forward so that I'm upright, and then I'm gonna rotate my pinkies down, curl right before they lock out, right? That's when I'm gonna straighten them out. If I wanna make it stronger, I just step further back, right? Then I'm gonna move into the pulling section. The first one is called the punching ring row. Right, so I'm gonna pull up, punch, lower on one arm. Again, so it's fast up, slow down. Then I'm gonna scoot back into my press back, shooting for a pike ring row. Then the last movement, I'm gonna do a bicep curl, right? So I'm gonna pull the elbows or the rings above the eyes, right? If I step forward, stronger, right? We don't really isolate the biceps or triceps much, which is why this triple set is lots of fun, right? Shoot for 10 to 20 reps of each movement, and then two to four sets, right? Minimal rest. Have fun with it.